This is a hybrid electric conversion. This is a plug-in Prius. It's a 2004 Prius. Toyota didn't start building plug-ins until 2013. What many people don't know is that you can't recharge a hybrid car with a wall socket plug, or any plug for that matter. What we've done is made this a plug-in conversion by adding a battery pack and a power system. This gives the car an electric driving range of about 24 miles. A standard hybrid will only have a driving range of about a mile, but even that is not from electrical power from any other source other than the internal combustion engine. The beauty of a plug-in is you can get your power from wherever you want, and whenever you use that power you are reducing your fuel consumption. Of course you will need to use your petrol driven motor when you're driving at higher speeds, going cross country, all those times when you would normally worry that you'd run out of electric power. That's where your ICE is very handy. This Prius will drive up to 70 km per hour in blended mode using only electric power. You can see on the small gauge in front of you that RPM is at zero. That means the engine's not on and we're driving under electric power. In the kit we find the latest technology lithium-ion batteries, the battery management system. The battery management system is the brains of the unit. It manages the health of the batteries and the charger controller. We also have the converter. The converter boosts the voltage of the lithium-ion batteries to the voltage that the hybrid battery needs. In other models for other vehicles, it's the converter that's the only part that needs to be changed to match the voltages of other cars that makes this kit very portable to other vehicles. The other thing we need to change is the mounting box for the kit. We need to make it fit the spaces in other vehicles. The Guardian in the last couple of days has reported that resale values of Nissan Leafs have fallen much more sharply than standard depreciation of normal ICE cars. This stands to reason due to the fact that they're purely battery electric driven and after about five years the battery warranty runs out. This is going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people and may even discourage the EV market. Of course if they had a two-stage battery system they could always replace that battery with a new chemistry. This kit can actually put it, be put into a Nissan Leaf and give it a, a better driving range. That might even hold up the price of Leafs that have this kit in them and improve the resale value.